Hey! Today, uh, I'm so excited that we have special guests. The one and only Miss Chris Bishop. She is literally the hair guru. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Chris is literally the hair guru. She started the first weed bar in the city of Buffalo, which I'm so excited about. And we are gonna just talk to her, get some tips, get some knowledge on what to do, what not to do. And we will have something super special for everybody that's watching so definitely make sure you watch to the end because me and Chris got something for you guys so she should be coming on shortly also if you have any questions do not forget put them in the comment section so I can read them I will be looking down periodically just to see what y'all talking about but yes we got Chris Bishop I'm gonna just plug my phone real quick while she come on I'm here Hey girl, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. No problem. You look cute. Thank you. I'm like, let me put on some clothes. I, girl, the devil was trying to get me. I was so sick all day today. Really? I, I was. I was so sick, and I do not have coronavirus. I think I just drank some. Some. I tried a new tea, and it just did not sit well with me. I was a mess, and I'm like, uh-uh. Uh -huh. Well, I got to get better before 6.30 times. I'm not canceling beauty courts. So right. I feel better. That's yes, good. I feel better. So I did tell them, Chris, that you are the hair guru. You know it all, done it all. So mm -hmm. you tell them about yourself, give an intro, and then we'll get right in. Okay. Um, so my name is Chris Bishop. Um, I am the owner of High Class Hair Salon at, located at 68. Allen Street in Buffalo, New York. Uh, we are home of the $50 sew-in and we are closed right now because of COVID. <laughs> yes, because of COVID. So Chris, what, what yes. have you been doing to stay, to stay coronavirus free? Have you been going out anywhere? Um, so I go to the grocery store. So <laughs> when this first started, <laughs> right, I was going to the grocery store like every day, like, because yeah. I just needed to kind of like, I, I'm so used to like moving around and everything like that, that I just needed to mm -hmm. get out the house. So I was going to the grocery store like every day. So now I've limited it to, um, just once a week. So I go to the grocery store once a week. Um, I do hair delivery. So I am still delivering like bundles and wigs and, you know, nice. all those types of things. So I do those, um, usually after five o'clock, um, yeah. and I go for a walk, um, every day, um, with my son, but other than that, um, I've been in the house, but I've been, I've been enjoying like this week right here. I've kind of got into quarantine mode. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I realized we're not yeah. going anywhere. Christina, you can't go on any vacations. You stuck here in Buffalo. <laughs> just, just kind of like, wait, you're a kindergarten teacher and you work. Yes. And you know Don't what I'm saying? That. So, yeah. Right. So, so this 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 week right here, I've I've kind of settled in. And it took me this long to really kind of just settle in. But I, I'm good now. So I'm in the house. <laughs> That's good. I'm so glad I that you you struck a nerve when you said you are a kindergarten teacher. Because I'm like, oh my goodness, I am like a pre-K slash second grade teacher in summer in Cinco. They don't let me rest. I'm like, can you go after that? Like, please right. go after that. <laughs> right. Seriously, listen. I but I'm a night school teacher though. I don't I do not we don't night do school. school during, yeah, we don't do school during the day because I mean there's just no way possible I can be on Zoom calls. And I was just on the phone with my friend and we were talking about when you on Zoom and a kid running around and everybody on the Zoom like yeah. Like in the background, because they act in the food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yes. um, we're not Girl, going around here. Um, we we get done and we making it work. So, we good. <laughs> we all making it work. So, right. tonight, me and you are going to, we got some questions about hair, hair care, weave, bundles, all that. Okay. So, we're going to go through some questions that I received. And guys that are watching, if you have any questions, definitely make sure you put them in the comment section. We'll get to them. We had a lot of questions. Um, Wednesday, I typically don't do beauty course sessions with anybody because that's my time to go to Bible study and recalibrate and regroup. So we didn't do anything yesterday, but Tuesday we had Sally. Monday we had Sharia of uh, Morgan Serial Buyer. Sunday we had Monique Janelle of Victory Inspired. And tonight we have you. Thank so you. I'm excited. So okay. 
one of the first questions that um, we got, how did you get to become the first weave buyer in our city, Buffalo, New York? How, how was that process? Um, okay, so boom, this is how that happened. Um, I went on vacation <laughs> with one of my friends. Um, we actually, I can remember the vacation and Lord knows I need a vacation. So I'm gonna go in like real detail about yeah. this. Yeah. So we went to a vacation, <laughs> we went on a vacation, um, actually with my friend Maya, um, who is also my financial mm -hmm. advisor and you know, all those things and my tax yes, person. Like, Maya. Right. She is like my person, but, um, she told me, um, she was just like, um, we went to Aruba. I don't know if I said that already, already but we went yes. to Aruba. <laughs> No, but, um, so we were, we were kind of like on the beach and she was just like, yeah, there's this, um, new salon here in Atlanta and they do $50 sew-ins. And when she said that I'm like $50 sew-ins, I had already been doing hair and already had like a, um, a smaller salon on Elmwood mm -hmm. and I had been doing hair for, uh, forever already. And she just, she was just like, yeah, mm -hmm. they do $50 sew-ins. I'm like, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Like, and, and just like that, yeah. um, it happened. So we, we were on that vacation. As soon as we got back from that vacation, I went and started looking at, at, um, like spots and everything like that, or looking online for spots. Yeah. And I, I literally mm -hmm. found the spot on Craigslist, like right there and everything kind of just like fell in place. And I'm learning things that fall in place like that are things that God wants you to do. So, um, yes. just like that, we had high class hair. It, it, it was super simple. It wasn't hard. It wasn't, you know, a wow. struggle or anything like that. Literally everything fell in place, like from the idea. That's really amazing, Kristen. We have a question for you, a live question. So okay. this question came from Daquan. His question is, can you elaborate on the process that prompts you to open up a second location in an entirely different state? Now, me and you talked about that. So you tell them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so that the the salon in Charlotte um kind of came about because um I don't know if you all know, but my son's father passed away. And I, I just felt yeah. like I wanted a change. Like I was just trying to mm -hmm. deal with with that by running and that's kind of like a characteristic that I have I don't like to really deal with things mm -hmm. so I kind of run and you know try to do other things so I actually yeah. um that's how that kind of came it's just like okay my family is here that makes sense I want to get out of Buffalo you know all of those types of things um it, it was tough the salon is not open anymore um I closed mm -hmm. it actually in July um, it just wasn't right. It wasn't sitting well in my spirit. It was just hard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. like I just said, like anything that I do that is just hard and draining and it affects my mood, my spirit and all of those types of things. Mm -hmm. I know it's not from God and I know it's something that I'm not supposed to be doing. So I actually left my yeah. son to go down there and, you know, build this life for us and everything like that. And it just wasn't flowing. Mm -hmm. So um, it, one thing I am happy I, I did was take that leap and try it because now I know, and now that I'm back in Buffalo, I don't want to live outside of Buffalo if I have to work. Like I'll have a vacation home somewhere. Right. If I have to go somewhere to build right. and, and, and do all of those types of things and really work. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to do it. So it was a good experience and I'm happy I took that leap. And anybody, you know, thinking about taking a leap to another city or opening a business business in another city, help I, would help I would absolutely encourage it because it's either going to mm -hmm. work or it's not going to work. Either you're going to enjoy it or you're not going to enjoy it. Either you're going to stay or you're going to come home. You know what I'm saying? You're right. So, <laughs> that's that. <laughs> that's that about that second location. So, right. oh, and I love it. Your stylists are on here. They say high classes in the house. <laughs> Hey y'all! Hey y'all! I miss my girl. I miss my job. I know you do. Y'all literally was so knit tight, like a family, straight up family. I love coming in there. It's just like, hey y'all, hey, and I know right. most of be tired of me. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. We love everybody. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I do. I love high class. So I'm gonna go to this question. Okay. We are gonna talk about perm hair versus natural hair. Do you have a preference of perm hair, natural hair? Um, so for me, I'm uh, I'm more uh, on the natural side. Um, for me, I feel mm -hmm. like uh, it, the only time you should have a perm is really if you have a short haircut, you know, because there's no mm -hmm. way to get that short haircut, sleek look. Um, yeah. Having a relaxer. 
But I, I do feel like if you have hair long enough to be caught with a, you know, flat iron or anything like that, you should be natural. Mm-hmm. It's, less, it's less chemicals on your hair. Um, being natural, it allows you to do colors and do different things without really experiencing breakage. It's not easier than relaxed hair. Yeah. But I would recommend it more and just kind of getting in, in, in touch with it, especially with the tools now, like all of the different flat irons, like you can literally flat yeah. iron somebody's hair to the point where it looks like there's a relaxer in the hair. Um, so I think with the proper amount of products and, you know, seeing a professional stylist, if you want to wear your hair straight and those things, I think, I think it, it, it'll do. Um, so I'm not a fan of perms yeah. or relaxers on hair that's long enough to be caught. But again, it's, it's, it's your, it's your preference, but anybody that comes to sit in my yeah. chair and they say, Oh, I need a relaxer. Like, I'm going to be like, no, you don't let me have this experience yeah. with you. Let me give you this experience and let me help you realize that you don't need this. So come, let's do this now. Right. And then in two, in two weeks, if it didn't work for you, then I'll put the relaxer in your hair, but they never get the relaxer yeah. because you know, I'm solid. In no, what I, I never got the relaxer. <laughs> You never get the relaxer. <laughs> right. Because right. <laughs> I remember, Chris, you were the first person that put um, a closure on me. And do you remember okay. how afraid I was? I'm like, yeah, oh my were- goodness. Like, yeah. I was very afraid because I did not want it to look like wiggy. And you right. was like, no, you're not getting a perm. You're going to get a, a closure. And yeah. that's yeah. just I that. Think you, had, you had that blonde <laughs> color in your hair, too. You had yes, this, like, I did. Line, and you asking for a relaxer. Like, I just want to relax. I'm like, <laughs> no, like, absolutely not. We are not doing that. So you can do this or that. Yes. And I'm really good with, you know, <laughs> with my clients. Like, I'm not going to just do anything to anybody's hair. And my girls at the salon are not right. here. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's not good for your hair, you can't pay us to do it. No, and you did not. And that's what I love about how you really take hone it to your customers and your clients because... Some hairdressers, they were like, oh, you want platinum blonde and you want me to, di- and you want me to, um, permit, I'll do it. So I no. appreciate that from Wait, you God and all the good God bless them. God bless them. <laughs> yes. God bless them. I have another question. Um, I- so for, for people that are permed and they want to transition to natural hair, should they do the big chop or should they have the poofy top and the straight ends? What do you think? Right. Okay. So when you're transitioning from, so that's, that's, that's purely, um, up to, uh, the person. Like if you want, some people want Mm -hmm. to have that big top experience. Like they want, they want to have the whole experience of going natural. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Um, will you experience a lot of breakage? Absolutely. Because what happens is where that, where that natural hair and that relaxed hair meet, that's where you experience the breakage. And you literally got have it. different types of textures in your hair. So you got this straight texture down here, and then you got this coarser texture, you know, at your roots. And so when you're mm-hmm. combing up here and you're getting down there, that's what's going to cause the breakage. It's two different. So the, the, the natural hair has elasticity in it. The perm hair is just straight. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at that yeah. at that line, that's when you experience breakage. So I do recommend if you're trying to go natural, either A, do the um, big chop. B, just go mm-hmm. go see your stylist. You can still do your washing sets and everything like that. Or C, mm-hmm. just get some type of protective style, whether it's braids, a closure, a wig, something like that, and let your hair just kind of grow out and do what it needs to do. That's a good point. Now, I was on a live previously that you did today. Can you show us one of the wigs that High Class offers to, to you know, your clients? Yeah, so these are um, um, our handmade units. They're right here. They're our handmade um, units. This one, we so branded, and I'm so excited about this. I worked really hard. Yes, for this right here. love that. Um, so we got, we got like tags. We got, you know, these tags inside the units and everything like this so this one is a closure unit so you can literally take this um you know style it how you want put it on take it off at night let your hair breathe all those types of things um but it's a handmade unit so it's not full lace um so it you don't experience as much shedding or anything like that um Mm -hmm. from from these types of units it's really full it's really thick it's a really it's a really good product if i if i must say so myself 
that's amazing. That that unit right there, and that's something that I need because as you can see, since we're in the house, I have some braids because I'm just like, I'm not going anywhere. This is gonna right. be what it is, but I'm definitely gonna have to get one of those. Cause that's yeah, and we can really, I mean with the units, you still you can this is like you you can so practice social distancing with the units because like I said, yeah. you can get you can order these units, you can send a picture to us, let us know exactly how you want it to be styled. We'll color it, we'll style it, we'll do all the things that we need to do to it and ship it to you. And all you literally have to do is just put it on. You know what I'm saying? So it's really convenient. Yeah. And, you know, people that are, you know have insecurities or have hair loss or anything like that. Um, it's it's a great mm -hmm. product. And it's not it's not a lot to put it on. You know what I'm saying? We we can still do all the work. Yeah. That's good. I like that. I do have one one more question, and then I probably got a few more questions. And guys, if y'all on here, definitely make sure that you write them so I can see them. Mm -hmm. Now, the type of hair that my children have, I'm gonna use summer and cinco for example. Mm -hmm. Both of them have very curly hair. Like it's really easy to do. It detangles perfectly. We all want to know what is your baby boy Kyle's hair regimen? <laughs> Kyle, his hair routine. Oh my god! So with y'all, so you want to see like the nice side? But listen, yes. Kyle's hair routine. I mean, I prepare. I prepare for weeks for Kyle's hair routine, like hair wash day and everything like that. Um, but what we do is um, we wash it, we deep condition. Um, I sit him under the dryer in the salon. It's usually just me and him um, because he doesn't like getting mm -hmm. his hair done. You know, with a lot of people, he's still a boy's boy, so he can't. He's not gonna just yeah. sit in a salon with a bunch of girls and get his hair done. So we have our own day. Um, so like nice. I said, I wash it, I deep condition it, and that's him going under the dryer um, with the cap on, mm -hmm. with the conditioner on. We rinse the conditioner out after we rinse the conditioner out. Then I put like a detangler in there and I kind of do his hair mm -hmm. in a bunch of a bunch of sections. So I use um, a detangler, um, comb it out, and then I actually blow dry his hair out and then and okay. then braid it. Um, in between, um, sometimes I, I grease his scalp. Um, we use a lot of stuff for like the edges and stuff to kind of like yeah. down, not necessarily edge control. Um, for mm -hmm. him, I still, you know, with, with his routine, um, one of the biggest things is still allowing him to be a boy. Like I don't ever yes. want to see a girl getting his hair done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we still, you know, implement, um, you know, products that smell good, that are not too girly and, you know, things like that. But um, mm -hmm. we do have a whole, a whole regimen and, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll share a lot more of that really, really, really soon. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because yeah. everybody loves his hair, Chris. His hair is so long. It's so healthy. We love to see mm -hmm. your post. Like, I'm about to get ready to do Lil Kyle's hair. Right. We, I'm like, listen, look at this boy's <laughs> hair. <laughs> Let me tell you this. So Kyle's <laughs> in school now, and this is back when school started. So I go do his hair one day, right? And like mm -hmm. these braids are like down here, and then these braids are yes. up here. I'm like Kyle, did you cut your hair? He's like, No, mom, I didn't cut my hair. <laughs> so <laughs> I, didn't <ask> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't ask anymore. And then you know, a couple of weeks passed, and it was time to do hair again. I'm like, Kyle, did you cut your hair? And right uh -huh. during, during during this time when I asked him, he was really upset. He was just like, Yeah, mom, I cut my hair because. I don't want long hair anymore. I don't oh. want long hair. So I'm like, so we are like a couple doors down from Justin. So I'm like, okay, I'm taking you to yeah. Justin. So every time I threaten him with that, he's like, no, mom, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to hear right, right. Anyway, <laughs> Kyle hasn't been wearing his hair down, so I braid it and then put it in another braid right now because it's kind of lopsided. So we're trying to grow that yeah. thing back out. <laughs> that is so funny that he was like not playing. He told you no, and then he was just like, I did it. Oh my God. And I want to get so much more information about it. Like, I want to be like, when did you cut it? Like, what kind of right, thing? Right, right. <laughs> when you did this, but uh, no, he, he's good now. He doesn't want a haircut or anything. So don't worry. I'm not making good. him keep his hair. He doesn't want a haircut yes. right now or anything. So he good. <laughs> that is so funny. That sounds like Cinco. Because some days Cinco want hair, some days he don't. Then I'm like, okay, well, let's go. <laughs> But no, no, I'm just playing. So, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let me see what else we have here. So, we're going to talk about bundles. Okay. What's the difference? I've asked in Beauty Course One, we had Ariane on here, Hair by Air. We mm -hmm. still we understand what the difference is between bundles and packaged hair, but 
I don't, I still don't understand. Isn't it all just hair? Okay, so with packaged hair, like, so pack hair is, you know, some of it is human hair. Um, mm -hmm. Some of it, they'll, they'll, they'll have on a pack like human-like hair, um, mm -hmm. you know, different terminology to where you buy it and, you know, you try to curl it and it's burning and, you know, all those right. things. I mean, we were all built off of pack hair. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with any good pack hair brands right now, but okay. pack hair is pretty much um, like like treated hair. So it's treated, it's colored, it's not raw, mm -hmm. untreated, natural hair. Where bundles, um, especially like the ones that come in like that natural 1B color, th those yeah. are, they're not colored. They're pretty much raw. They do, they still do use some type of chemical process for some of the bundles to give it those waves and everything like that. Um, mm -hmm. but I guess is how it's marketed, marketed. So this hair is yeah. made in the, it's all made in a factory. Right. It's, just, it's marketed a lot, I guess. They do have something called like raw hair and that raw hair really yes. is like, it comes off somebody's head, they put it on the track mm -hmm. and they sell it to you. So it's not chemically altered or anything like that. So I, I guess. Wow. Just the quality and the way it's marketed and packaged and everything. That's just my opinion. Um, yeah. Wow. That's deep. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a question on here. This question is live from Candace. Her name is Candace Dowdell. What do you recommend for a go-to protective style? Um, so I would say a go-to protective style. I would say a unit um, or wig. Um, because mm -hmm. with the wigs, basically you can wash blow dry your hair and just cornrow it. You don't have to use like any tension. So why I would say a wig mm -hmm. versus even braids is because those braids, you gotta, it's, it's a lot of tension on your hair. So you can, yeah. you know, wash, treat your hair, braid it and do, do some loose braids, put that wig cap on, put that unit on and you're good to go. You could take it off on and off at night, um, you know, and yeah. still let your hair break. So it's a little bit better than a sewing because like I said, it's no tension um and you can take it on and off so a good protective style in my opinion would be um mm -hmm. a unit and they're, they're unit. They look That's these, these days they don't they're not super wiggy like the traditional like wigs that you think of when you think of a wig right. so they're really natural they're really light they're really um it's really good quality hair um so i would say a unit a unit i'm i'm definitely getting me a unit i i'm getting it now, Chris, okay. is there any myths or anything that you would like to debunk about hair or bundles? Anything um, like that? Um, I will say this. Um, a lot of people try a lot of different things to, you know, treat different hair issues and things like that. I will say this. Mm -hmm. The the state of your hair really starts with what's going on inside of your body. So if your hair is falling mm -hmm. out, um, other than people that have like serious like scalp issues and you know hair loss issues but if your hair is just like falling out is really dry and you know all those types of things is just different it just doesn't mm -hmm. feel the same there's usually something going on internally and I always tell my clients like I'm not one to say oh yeah go grease your scalp or you know go do all these right. crazy things, go buy all these crazy things I always say mm -hmm. you know are you drinking enough water what's your diet right what type of medications you're on because all of that stuff matters for real true healthy hair it all starts with within so there's not in my opinion no miracle product that can make your hair grow long like it, it really all starts with diet how much water you're drinking what you eat all those types of things so don't think or don't let nobody sell you nothing and be like oh yeah you take this your hair is gonna grow here and here and here like it really starts with yeah. you know within Start from the inside out, literally. Yeah. Literally. So, Chris, we, I'm so, again, I'm so appreciative that you came on here to sit and chat with me. No like I said, you are, to me, the best in the city because mm -hmm. you do all types of hair, all different types of people, all different nationalities. Um, so, I just thank you for coming on to help us out with our hair. Now, no guys. Since Chris is so generous, and that's really her personality, she is a giver. Um, she has decided to do something super nice for all of the viewers and anybody that's following my page. Chris, you can tell them about, yay, 
You can follow. Oh. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, Courtney has her own discount code at highclasshair.com. So you can visit highclasshair.com. You can look on there for bundles, units, um, and oh, our high class hair t-shirts. And everything is, um, yes. your total portrait is 20% off. So you got to use the um, code court 20 so it's c-o-u-r-t 20 at checkout um we do have something called quad pay and what quad pay does is it breaks up your payments into four payments over a couple of weeks um so you don't have to pay for everything all at once um so she has her own discount code so anything that you purchase off of our website is 20 percent off and just use her discount code and we gonna get you together we're gonna get you together chris thank you so much for coming on i know you again you have a very productive schedule because you are yes. a very productive lady <laughs> so again yes. thank you so 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 much and i will talk to you later okay thank you for having me see you all later you're welcome <laughs> bye 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 guys it was so amazing i told y'all chris knows her stuff and how nice was that for her to give us our own special code? If you go to highclasshair.com, I'll put it in the notes and at the bottom of, you know, the comments. The code is court 10, court 20, C-O-U-R-T-2-0. Definitely make sure y'all go check that out. Tomorrow is Friday. We're having a party with Miss Body Language herself. If y'all never seen her, page definitely go check that out at miss body language y'all want to be skinny after quarantine you need to go and follow her because she will get you right so i hope you guys enjoyed tonight it was so informative and i will see you guys tomorrow thank you